Hello! Behind me you can see Loch Valley, which means I am in the Galloway Hills again. We're heading up the same route as the last video, the route up to Craignaw. But instead, I'm heading back onto Dungeon Hill for a summit camp and some uh, extensive exploration. In my last video I was really annoyed at myself because I didn't show you um, the area that we covered. I'm going to rectify that now and show you where we are. This is Loch Neldricken, the lovely exposed granite face of Craignaw, it's really rugged. Beside that you have the Devil's Bowling Green, beside that, peeking behind the hills, you have Dungeon Hill, which is where we'll be going, you have Craig Nerney, which we'll be crossing today, Craig Neldricken, at the foot of Craig Neldricken you've got the U-Rig and I will show you in a minute, but the murder hole is just down here as well. You have the start of the Rig of Loch Enoch, and then up behind that you have the Merrick. Our route consisted of following this round past the murder hole along U Rig up onto Craig Neldricken and then we hand railed the horseshoe here up along there up onto Craig Nall. There's the murder hole again. You see they still haven't retrieved their clothing. Say hello Hubert. Hello everybody. How are you getting on? I press on, but I have uh, my uh, energetic gel boost on my back, <laughs> so I'm been uh, ready eating. So I extra turbo, <laughs> extra turbo. He's out. He's been. This is where the route splits. So this is the route we took last time, up and over Urig. We will be forking off to the left, up between these two wee hillocks here. Here we are, Loch Enoch. Lovely blue skies over the Merrick. A wee bit of cloud. And then boom. <laughs> it was forecast there was to be a wee bit of snow, some showers. And it was forecast that there would be clouds, though it is later in the afternoon. So we'll just have to see what happens. We found what looks like the remnants of a plane, though I don't know if it is scattered all about. There's a bit over here as well. There's no obvious shape to it, it's just sort of this metal, but it's full of rivets and bolts. So I'll have to double check this when I get home and see if this is the site of a plane crash. If it is, I'll put the information up now. It is snowing, and look at this lovely scene. The sun is coming in this way, illuminating the foreground. You've got this lovely dappled light with this white beach. And you've got the Merrick in the background. It's absolutely fantastic. There's a wee break in the clouds over here, which I'm hoping means the sky will clear. Coops is digging a big hole in the sand, and it's snowing. It was forecast, so I'm not surprised, but uh, I do have to be careful because we can't be arsing about here just enjoying ourselves if we think that the conditions are going to worsen. If the conditions are going to worsen we're going to have to get up this hill and get the tents pitched so that we've got a shelter and that we're not getting caught out in low visibility. We've got the maps and the compass. If I don't film anything from here to the summit that's why I'll do my best. And this is Craig Nearney. So we could have Went up the face of it. It doesn't look too bad here, but it's it's quite steep with these bags on. Uh, mine's 20 kilograms, and yours is how many? 21 and a half. 21 and a half kilograms, and that's because of our camera gear and all that. So uh, that was the reason why we avoided doing that because it's a steep wee bugger as well. So this is our ascent. Now we could have went up the face of that, or we can contour it round, and according to the map, we should be able to pick up round the other side and just down onto Dungeon Hill. So what do you think? Should we contour it or go up the face? Job need to be done, Paul. Doesn't matter which way. <laughs> We're gonna contour it. I think it's the most sensible option. We've got a couple hours until sunset, so we need to go up there, get camp sorted, get some food in the go, and then prepare for sunset. Woo! <laughs> 
current views of the Merrick, fantastic. We're contouring Craig Nearney. We've just been finding wee spots of shelter to duck out of the snow. It keeps rolling in and out. So just passing shivers. We're getting our first view of Dungeon Hill now. Here, just over there. Uh, so basically, as we're contouring, we're just gradually gaining height. Nothing too strenuous. And we're working up to the level at which we'll just cross a small dip then up onto the summit of Dungeon Hill. Down here at the foot of Craignaw, we have the Silver Flow, which is this bog. Apparently it's so deep in places and so well obscured in places that people have actually just sunk into the ground, never to be seen again. So uh, until I get some proper good route information from people that know the area, I won't be using that route. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh yeah, it's very. Tell us about your GoPro. Ah, oh, just a small accident, that's typical, to be honest. It usually happened to me, pal. Hubert's thing is, uh, he usually breaks something on the trip. I'm not really breaking, I'm still testing, pal. Testing? Aye. <laughs> well, usually, he likes to test equipment. And, uh, on this particular occasion, he was trying to film a wee bit to camera on a cliff and a sudden gust blew in blew his camera off a pair of gloves which were sitting they blew down the wee cliff luckily he managed to get them and uh, the front of his GoPro the wee front element smashed but it's a replaceable part so it's not too bad Once again, we'll be using my wee route, which is just there, up onto the summit. And boom, time to put the tent up. I think we're going to make it just in time, because there's another wee squall moving in. So just uh, get our arses up here, get the tents up and then at least we know everything's dry. We have these big walls up here, so they should offer some decent shelter from the northern winds. The wind shall change to an easterly, but hopefully we get a wee bit of shelter from that as well. So, because we didn't avoid that squall, everything gets snowed in. It's, everything's gone white. But let's go to the summit because the snow is about to stop. One. Good boy. Boom. There's Loch Doon. Not a patch of bloody snow on it. That's strange. But Warker, the range of the awful hand. That's Craig Naw. It looks like the Book of Let of More. Kinda. It's just absolutely fantastic. Lots of separation because of that snow. There's Hubert, he's got a super long lens on and I think he's trying to photograph people that are down in the lochs. He heard them earlier on, he was fascinated. And there's wee Koopy. Curled up in a wee ball. Yeah, good boy. He's nice and warm in the sun. I'm just gonna stand here for a wee while. Get some shots. Now go back to the tent, get my layers on, uh, get some food in the go, and wait for sunset. And after sunset, it'll be time to climb in the tent and get comfy. <sighs> it got Baltic outside. It got really, really cold. I had a pot noodle with instant mash. For dinner so that's uh, quite a lot of calories and it's quite heavy in the stomach so generate a bit of heat and I've just had a uh, mint hot chocolate and Horlicks concoction so again that's nice and heavy and should be good for going to sleep 
Crips has got his wee sleeping bag. Here. He's just getting comfy. So, aye. That's it for tonight. I'm going to get the sleeping bag zipped up. Because I'm shivering. And uh, we'll see what's happening in the morning. So, good night. Good morning. It's Baltic. But look at the views. Clear skies. It's 6 a.m. and he wants a bloody stone thrown. Look at the range of the awful hand. It's absolutely fantastic. Lovely alpine glow on the tops. Below that you've got the shadow of Mawaka and Dungeon Hill and possibly the Runs of Kells too. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Say hello Hubert. Good morning everybody. Cold? Quite chilly to be honest, I can't complain. You can't complain. <laughs> he brought uh, three season gear because he thought it was going to be warm even though I told him it would be cold. But he survived, so. Oh! What a lovely place to be. 6 a.m. In the middle of the Galloway Hills. Absolutely bra. That's camp struck. The coffee has been drunk. I was enjoying myself too much to be honest to be filming. But anyway, leave no trace. Except for my big manky bit of bog. This is where I slept. Nice big lump in my back all night. I was actually quite comfortable to be honest, so we're just going to start making our way down. Same script as yesterday, go down here and then just contour around Craig Nearney down to Loch Enoch. Stand off. I'll break first. Now in order to collect water this morning, we're going to have to break some ice. So, uh, I... There we go. Oh. Job done. That's where we, we would be going. And then skirting round, round Craig Neldrick and down. This is Craig Nawn, the Devil's Bowling Green, and Nick of the Dungeon, and we've spotted a route. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a trail that goes along there, which is a trail we followed the first time round. But it drops off down, and then follows an it looks like an ATV track down, then across to the U Rig. So I'm thinking we're going to change our plans and go that way just for a change of scenery. If you can ignore the rather smug-looking rock there, we have come. Off of Craig Nerney, down to Nick of the Dungeon, contoured down Nick of the Dungeon. There's an ATV track that comes down here. It's quite boggy behind us, we uh, knoll here. And we've basically just handrailed this fence down here. I'm going to stop at these rocks for a wee break with a nice view of Loch Neldricken before continuing along, following the fence, and then we'll cut right along the bottom of your rig. Basically the plan is to just avoid any ascent today. A uh, bit of a navigational exercise to be honest, there's no other reason for it. But it's been great fun and so far it's worked really well, what do you think? Absolutely. Really well, a little nice weather, quite chilly on the morning, come inside. A big frosty. Uh, water already freezing, I, I think still is. Still ice on my uh, on my uh, bottle, so why? That's been basically minus eight, easy on the night. Minus eight. The inside the tent was both completely frozen and everything was wet because of the condensation. 
and it wasn't because no air was getting out it was just because it was so cold the ambient temperature was so cold not the wind that um the breath would just stick to everything so it was me and coops in the tent i woke up my sleeping bag was drenched um but it's waterproof so i wasn't soaked through we're approaching loch neldrickon and it's snowing again the clouds over the minigaff hills are rather imposing looking the clouds behind us are sort of gathering but they're not too bad oh uh, I saw, I don't know if this will just be a wee passing shower or whether it's going to get heavy again. We have made it back to Loch Valley. Progress has been good from the murder hole and it's snowing. I think we made it just in time because the Merrick just disappeared. But I think it's catching up with us now. We're walking through the final wee glen. It's at the foot of Buchan Hill. And we've got about two kilometers back to the tar. It's not that far. Buchan Hill is almost invisible. It's behind a shroud of snow. As you can tell, it is still snowing. It's not obscuring the vision or anything, so it's all right. It's actually quite atmospheric, really nice to walk in. It's not cold, it's not windy, but it's time for me to say goodbye. So if you enjoyed this video, you'd like to see more, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends. This has been Galloway again. I'm Scott Cameron Monstow, the extra photographer, and remember, Go outside, it's good for you.